Happy Christmas and welcome to this special Christmas edition of the Digital Field Service, a podcast of a short Christian act of worship. And I'm the Reverend Ollie North. Our thought for the day is provided by the Reverend Richard Smith, Senior Chaplain to 16 Air Assault Brigade. As with all our digital field services, it is our prayer that this podcast may be to you a blessing in these uncertain times and that you may know that God is never more than two metres away from you. We begin with a prayer. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of heaven and earth, to you be praise and glory forever. As we celebrate the wonder of Christ's birth, may the light of your love be born in us, to fill our hearts with joy as we sing, Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. Amen. We continue with a time of saying sorry to God, a time when we bring before him those times when we've not demonstrated our love for him, other people or ourselves, and for this we seek his forgiveness. If you would like to join in, when I say Lord save us, please respond, hear us and help us. Lord save us, hear us and help us. The Virgin Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our disobedience to your will. Lord save us. Hear us and help us. Your Son, our Saviour, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. Lord, save us. Hear us and help us. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and lack of vision. Lord, save us. Hear us and help us. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus the King. Forgive our reluctance to seek you. Lord, save us. Hear us and help us. And so we receive assurance of our forgiveness through the death and resurrection of Jesus. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading today is from the Gospel of St Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 to 20. It is titled, The Birth of Jesus. About that time, Emperor Augustus gave orders for the names of all the people to be listed in record books. These first records were made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to go to their hometown to be listed, so Joseph had to leave Nazareth in Galilee and go to Bethlehem in Judea. Long ago, Bethlehem had been King David's hometown, and Joseph went there because he was from David's family. Mary was engaged to Joseph and travelled with him to Bethlehem. She was soon going to have a baby, and while they were there, she gave birth to her firstborn son. She dressed him in baby clothes and laid him on a bed of hay, because there was no room for them in the inn. That night, in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. All at once, an angel came down from the Lord, and the brightness of the Lord's glory flashed around them. The shepherds were frightened, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. This very day in King David's hometown, a saviour was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is, because you will find him dressed in baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined in praising God. They said, Praise God in heaven, peace on earth to everyone who pleases God. After the angels had left and gone back to heaven, The shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord has told us about. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and they found the baby lying on a bed of hay. When the shepherds saw Jesus, they told his parents what the angel had said about him. Everyone listened and was surprised. But Mary kept thinking about all this and wondering what it meant. As the shepherds returned to their sheep, they were praising God and saying wonderful things about him. Everything they had seen and heard was just as the angel had said. This Christmas is obviously not quite the same as many that have gone before. COVID-19 and the restrictions that keep us safe have meant that this Christmas has been and will be very different. This year, there will be less family gatherings, less raucous parties and less kissing under the mistletoe. But within the restrictions, thankfully, we can still celebrate. We gather in small bubbles to give thanks for the birth of Jesus Christ. 
that first Christmas many years ago was pretty strange too. Mary and Joseph were living in a land occupied by the Romans. And at the time of Jesus' birth, the whole population was required to, to register in their hometown for a Roman census. Mary and Joseph travelled many miles from Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem in Judea. And whilst they were there, it came time for the baby to be born. We hear from the biblical text that no accommodation was available. And as Jesus was laid in a manger, an animal's feeding trough, I think we can presume that the family was living outside with the animals in an outhouse or a stable block. Most of you know the rest of the story. We hear of the shepherds in the field. We hear of the angels singing in the sky. And in Matthew's gospel, we hear of wise men or magi traveling many, many miles to visit a new king. Like this year, Jesus had no extended family around, just those that loved him most and cared for his daily needs. Yet in him, hope was born. In him, hope was born for a world that had lost its way. Hope for a people who needed a new direction. Hope for every person, every family, every community, every country. Hope for the whole world. This Christmas, let us hear again the song of the angels and hear it to us. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Well, I hope your festivities are wonderful this year. Happy Christmas to you all. We continue with our prayers of intercession. If you would like to join in, when I say Lord in your mercy, please respond, hear our prayer. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Let us offer our prayers for the needs of the world. Wonderful Counselor, give your wisdom to the rulers of the nations. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, make the whole world know that the government is on your shoulders. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting Father, establish your reign of justice and righteousness for ever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Prince of Peace, bring in the endless kingdom of your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy for ever. Amen. We join our prayers together with the words of the Lord's Prayer. So rejoicing in the presence of Christ here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Before we conclude our time together with God's blessing, I'd like to thank the Reverend Richard Smith for his thought for the day. Our Bible reading came from the Contemporary English Version. It is copyright the American Bible Society and available at BibleGateway.com. The remainder of our service comes from Common Worship, Services and Prayers for the Church of England. It is copyright the Archbishop's Council and available at ChurchofEngland.org. Do keep shining light into the world with our hashtag guiding style project. And if you're looking for a short family friendly and fun video of the nativity story, why not try the Lone Soul Nativity? It is available on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash digifieldservice, or on our YouTube channel by searching Digital Field Service. We hope you can join us for the next edition of the Digital Field Service, which is available every Monday at anchor.fm slash digitalfieldservice. In a break with tradition, after our blessing, 
A virtual choir from the Royal Army Chaplains Department will sing the first verse of Silent Night. But before that, we conclude with God's blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas time. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.